All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Guns and Outdoors with Daryl. And today I'm gonna be reviewing my Springfield Hellcat Micro Compact for you guys. With that being stated, this gun originally cost me $499.99 plus tax, um, but I think it was a hell of a deal and I will tell you guys why as we look into the features right now. So you get a box, I almost looks like a shoe box. So you get a lot of paper. Voila. So with that being said, guys, you do get four 15 round magazines. 15 round magazines, you get four of them. Right off the gate, you get four 15 round magazines. So going into the Springfield Armory since 1794, you get your firearm. A little nice pouch, I could say that. No, for the price that I did pay. You do get your test to show that it was fired and that it does work. You do get your Springfield stuff. So let's go over this. You do get your Springfield Armory Operation Manual. Again, pretty good idea to keep these. In case one part messes up or anything that happens, you have the ability to know. You get your Springfield sticker and you get the instructions on it. Clean the surface like your mama taught you with rubbing alcohol and soap. Use a squeegee or credit card. <laughs> That's okay. That's funny. It's very funny. Um, but you do get those. You get your sticker. You get 50% off uh, accessories. Precaution. Just a precaution and warning. You do get a business reply mail warranty manufacturer thing. You get to activate your warranty online. That's going to be all that's in this important envelope. I know some, I know what some people do is they tend to throw the paperwork away. I highly wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I recommend saving it. I know it can be a hassle sometimes with all the paperwork and stuff like that, but it's just a good idea to save it, guys. Um, going back into this, lift this up. You do get a... Another 15 round mag? Get another 15 round mag. Actually, no. Cause I shot this, so I know what happened. This is what happened. So it actually is supposed to come like this. So the 13 round mag is supposed to come inside of there, not the 15 round. Cause you get four 15s, one 13, and another 10 round magazine. And then you get your loader. If you like if you like doing that, you know, you put it here, press down, load, save your fingers. You do get your uh, standard lock. And then you get one of these if you need it more concealable. That's all that's inside of this box. For the main event. And you get your Hellcat. This is your Hellcat. Let's safety check it, even though I know it's empty. Now, this gun is extremely beautiful and I love it. I'm gonna go over the reasons why I love it right after I go over the details. But before that, I just wanna show you guys how it looks um, with all magazines inserted one by one. So, this right here is going to be a 10 round magazine. I can barely fit my pinky on there. I'm again, it's a 10 round magazine. It sits very flush in the fingers. Very good. This right here is just gonna be your 13 round magazine. Now you can fit your pinky on there. Feels pretty decent in the fingers as well. No complaints.
This one is where you get all the bells and whistles. Now this one, you do get your 15 rounds inside of the magazine. Obviously you do get the one in the head, so that's 15 plus one. So that's 16 rounds of nine mil in a very, very small package, as well as if you look to the side, which we just picked up on, you see you have these stippled um, indents where you put your finger to pull the magazine apart, or to pull the magazine out of the magazine well. Pretty, pretty good gun if you ask me. And let's just, let's just go, let's just go over the break. Very clean break. Very clean reset. Very crisp break. Very clean reset. Very crisp break. With the 50 round magazine inserted into the firearm, you will have full control over this firearm and it will not feel like it's jumping everywhere. With the 13 round magazine inserted, you will have the best of both worlds. You will have uh, 13 plus one, so you have 14 rounds in a very small uh, package and you're still able to control it fairly well. With the 10 round magazine inserted into the firearm, you will not have as much control of this firearm. This firearm will feel like it's about to jump out of your hands and if this was chambered in anything other than nine, I suspect that you would lose control of this firearm. I am not kidding. I literally had to, and I'm going to roll a footage so you guys can see, I literally had to regrip each time. It wasn't because I wasn't gripping hard enough. It was just because I wanted to make sure that I gripped harder each time as the firearm felt like it was just going to flip and fly out my hands. I said, I've never felt a firearm that kicked this much, especially a nine. With this inserted, you do get concealability, but when it all comes down to it, um, you better hold on to this because it's going, this, this right here is a bull. This like this. I, I probably wouldn't carry it unless I like practice, 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 practice with it like this. Otherwise, you're gonna feel it's gonna feel like the gun's gonna fly right out of your hands. I didn't believe people when they said that, but like it's true. This gun will fly right out of your hands with this little small magazine inserted like this. So, um, you know, practice with it, and then I feel like you'll be okay. Or if you have really small fingers, you'll be okay. But as far as me. I wasn't okay and I was milking and regripping each second I got because I wanted to ensure that this wasn't going anywhere. So pretty cool, pretty scary, but we're going to be honest right here. So with that being stated, I do got some specs here that I'm going to be showing you guys or uh, reading off to you guys, I should say. So basically, let's go over um, what you get here. So you get a total of six magazines. Um, this is chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, the barrel length for this firearm is going to hit you with about three inches. Um, this obviously is brand new. I bought it brand new. Uh, the coating on the firearm, it's black slash stainless steel, uh, made from Springfield. The model is a Hellcat. It is a semi-automatic firearm. Um, so it is a micro compact. You do get 15 plus one. Uh, the frame finishes black. The frame material is polymer. This is for right-handed users. Sorry guys, camera died. But this right here is gonna be for your right-handed users uh, just because it's not ambidextrous and you don't have any left-hand features. Um, you know, you might can you might be able to switch to magazine weld button, but other than that, it's gonna be for your right-hand users, unfortunately. Uh, you do get your, it's not blacked out rears, but you know what? Um, I actually like this sight. I like the fact that, again, you have that very visible um, glow in the dark green, high vis green. I didn't get the uh, cutout at the top, so there's no cutout, as I didn't want to put a red dot on this one. Um, with that, it will cost you a little bit extra, but again, I didn't want to put the red dot on this one. You do get some really nice slide serrations. Uh, it feels pretty decent. I uh, will be honest with you guys because now, um, 
you know, the gun feels pretty decent in hand. There are a few drawbacks, for instance, like the slide release. It's very stiff, very hard. So if you don't have uh, very strong fingertips, I could see that as a problem. Uh, I do like the way that the grip feels in the hand. It feels extremely comfortable. Um, as far as your slide serrations, um, they're pretty standard. Um, there's nothing special about them, uh, but they do work. I would say that the trigger is the pretty much the best part of this firearm as it has a slight heavy trigger pull, um, but it breaks so clean. So the heaviness of the trigger pull doesn't necessarily even matter because again, it goes from the wall to a clean break. Now, if it was a sloppy break, then it will be an issue because then it probably feels something like that SD40 or the SD9. And I'm not trying to, uh, you know, disrespect those firearms because those are great firearms as well. But I'm just letting you guys know how it will possibly feel. Overall, I will say this is a cop. You got to pick it up. It's great. I wouldn't mind carrying this around if I wasn't carrying around my Ruger already. Um, but this is an option, especially if you don't want to carry something big. Like if you're if you're a person who's like you like the Ruger LCP Max, but you want um, something you want a nine instead of a 380 and you will like more rounds but this right here holds 15 plus one so you're looking at 16 rounds of nine millimeter in a very very small size and you're able to lock on and put rounds on target very easy with this firearm and it has a nice sight as well and if you want you can upgrade it and get you a, a red dot on the top of the slide um, if you want that feature um, but overall, I like this firearm and I bought it because the grip feels so, so good. And the trigger is amazing. And I suspect that the more you shoot it, the more, you know, it'll gain its own personality. And some parts will start to get a little bit loose, a little bit better and stuff like that. Because again, this is still a brand new firearm. I only shot probably about 50 rounds to or so. Um, just because I was in a rush to actually leave and I just wanted to get a couple rounds off with this firearm. But overall... I think it's a great gun. I would highly recommend it. Worth the 500 and some dollars I pay for it. And uh, look at it, it's just so. Oh, <laughs>